by your rise today through the strength of heaven light of sun radiance of moon splendor of fire speed of lightning swiftness of wind depth of the sea stability of earth firmness of rock Fallon Island the largest of the islands on Loch Lane the Lake of Learning in Killarney National Park is home to Inishfallen Monastery founded in 631 AD by St Fahalan and dedicated to St Fionnán a university was also established on Inishfallen. It is said Brian Baru, High King of Ireland, was educated on the island. One of the most profound manuscripts written by the monks is called The Annals of Inishfallen, a chronicle of diary-like entries compiling the history of pre-Christian Ireland up to the arrival of St. Patrick. They were written in Latin and Irish. Today, they are stored in the Bodleian Library in Oxford University. Through God's strength to pilot me, God's eye to look before me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's way to lie before me. God's shield to protect me. Saint Funon founded a monastery at Ahado in the 7th century. Ahado Cathedral was used as the seat of the bishop. The monastery at Ahado had a close relationship with nearby Inishfallen. Legend suggests that the two monasteries were connected by a secret causeway across Loch Lane. Franciscan Friary of Earlock, Muckras Abbey, was founded in 1448 by Donal McCarthy Moore on the site of an earlier monastery built by St. Fionnon. With its beautifully preserved cloisters and 550 year old yew tree, buried here are Kerry's most famous poets of the 17th and 18th centuries. Shifra O'Dunacha, Egon O'Rahala, own Rua Osuluan and Pirish Verter. I'm reading a poem by the Irish poet Egon O'Rahala, translated by the Irish poet laureate, the late Seamus Heaney, Gilla Nagilla. Brightening brightness alone on the road she appears, crystalline crystal and sparkle of blue in green eyes, sweetness of sweetness in her own in bitter young voice and a high colour dawning behind the pearl of her face. Ringlets and ringlets, a curl in every tress, of her fair hair trailing and brushing the dew on the grass, and a gem from her birthplace far in the high universe, out glittering glass and gracing the groove of her breasts. From all who shall wish me We're standing here in St. Mary's Church in Killarney. This is said to be the spiritual heart of the area because this site is where the very earliest churches would have been uh, built. I myself came here about six years ago and when I arrived here I fell in love with the place and felt very much at home here and able to connect with that spiritual aspect and to feel God present uh, in all areas 
of the countryside and here in the town. Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arrive. I'm Kate Rodden and I'm in fifth year. And I'm Ava Rodden and I'm in third year. We are both students at St. Bridget's Secondary School, Clarny. Our school is actually situated right next to the gates of the National Park, which is convenient as we have many classes down here. Lockdown has been hard on everyone, but we're so lucky to have the National Park here in Killarney so we can go on socially distant walks with our friends and family. Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me.